the very first time I ever heard of David Bowie was the first time I heard a David Bowie song, Moon Age Daydream. And I went, wow, this is maybe the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life, you know, next to bebop and modern jazz. My entire life, I've been driven by groove and, um, how should I say, technical facility. I don't ever remember listening to an artist's music and focusing on the lyrics first. Keep your electric eye on me, babe. Like, I don't get any of this stuff, but I get every bit of it. It's interesting when, you know, you know if you know the way that David thinks, um, he could be saying a multitude of messages. I always love his abstract concepts and the way he sort of wraps up his way of thinking. He just had this very avant-garde way of looking at things, this very interesting way of explaining it to me. And I knew everything that he was saying, which that kind of connection between an artist and producer is rare. Um, but that's what you dream of. You dream of working with people like David Bowie that can talk to you in whatever speak they choose and you get it, you get every word of it. You go, I got it, Dave. Sit back and relax, coming up in 10 minutes. <laughs> David is one of the most incredible people I've ever worked with. One of the most altruistic, one of the kindest, one of the funniest one of the most talented people. And I honestly don't throw those words around lightly. To me, David Bowie is the Picasso of rock and roll.